Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about AMC Entertainment. Taking some more AMC. So what we're talking about in this video is pretty much about what we should be expecting for next week. One thing we do want to note is that you can never put a date down for when the squeeze will happen. However, there are obvious signs where we can see that will bring us towards closer and closer towards that end goal. You know, there are steps that we have to reach, the requirements for us to reach for that MOAS to happen. And so in this video, I'm gonna cover all about those and other technical analysis and such. So if you guys find this video useful or liked it, be sure to click that subscribe button and that like button down below. It helped this video out a lot. It costs you guys nothing, but it helped this video out a lot and we can spread it to the whole community. Other than that, let's get straight into the video. So. One thing let's mention is the AMC um, stats on the 27th of August, so that was on the final day, this is my mic course. Short interest at 17.03%, utilization rate at 92.95%, and the shares on loan, 106.10 million. So it increases across the board. So this is good for us in the sense that obviously when we do see that short squeeze, we're gonna see a very high movement in price and reaching to the price where you know everybody wants to reach everyone has different price you know we got people saying eight thousand we got people saying a hundred thousand but when we see all of those shares being you know covered we could potentially see all of these numbers to be reached we can talk about that later on in this video now one of the obvious things i want to get on with before we kind of get more in depth is the three obvious arrows you can see right here and so this is pointing to the ending of the last free trading week so this is the 13th of August, which was the last trading day of the trading week for that week. This is the 20th, the last trading day for that week. And then this is the 27th, which was the last trading day for this week. And we can see that pretty much, as you guys know, the last trading day of the week decides a lot, as in it decides kind of the conclusion, the summary of this week. And it also shows us the momentum going into next week. Now, one of the obvious things was that particular on the 20th of August, for those of you who have been subscribed and watching these videos, I talked about on the 20th of August how we was going to see a very nice bullish momentum because of the price action we saw on that day. And then you can see, obviously, this week, we had a very nice week. We broke up that 37.40. So all around, that this was very good. And this was seen from that price action. And so what do we have to see from this? Firstly, three weeks in a row now where we have the last ending, uh, last trading day ending in a green. So that's obviously extremely positive. You know, this shows that pretty much a lot more buyers are coming in. Kind of the overall sentiment towards AMC right now is more buying than to the previously where there was more selling because people are more confident so the reason why you know i say this is because pretty much if people aren't confident in the stock they tend to sell their stock at the final day of the trading week so they don't want to hold over the weekend however if we see a large green if we see large buying then it pretty much shows that people are getting more and more confident in the week and so you know people are starting to buy in onto that stock they're okay with holding over the weekend and this is extremely good to see. So we can see that, you know, pretty much as well, every week has ended higher and higher. So if we look in the weekly, you know, we saw that ending. So this was the um, first week and then the second week ending higher and then the final week ending higher as well. And so, you know, pretty much right now, we're looking at very nice bullish momentum for AMC. One thing we do have to know is obviously they were selling at the 4830 level. And, you know, so, Next week, when we go closer towards that level, that is level we should be watching out for. There is nothing to worry about, though, however. And then if we go into the month, you can pretty much see this month. We ended the whole month pretty much um, over this 37.40. So this is what I've been talking about, is that we want to end above here. And we did, so that's extremely good. One thing to note, though, is that it is kind of right now looking like a doji. So, you know, you could still make the argument that people still are is undecisive on AMC. Um, you know, I will talk about more how it's more bullish though towards next week, but you know, pretty much in the monthly and in the weekly, we're looking very bullish. But if we look at the day, and this is going back to what I said earlier, you can't put a date to when the MOAS will happen. You can't put a date to when the short squeeze will happen. However, you know, you can see certain dates that will decide if we're getting closer and closer. And particular in this week, you know, I, I said the final day can show us if we're getting closer and closer. So what do we want to see on the Friday? Well, firstly, a green candle and this is what we saw so we saw a green candle that is very good however you know if we're going to be completely transparent with amc one thing to note is that amc hasn't crossed that 50 ma and so 
it's not the end of the world because you know we still saw that this week has ended higher so each week we're ending consecutively higher and higher however what we have to know is that you know if we wanted to see a bigger momentum we did want to see the price end above that 50 ma so we didn't see that which is unfortunate but you know so what does this say well this says that there's still a lot of bias there's still confidence in amc however it is just not to the point where you know next week we're going to see a lot of momentum i could be wrong because you know people there may be news coming over this weekend that could change people's mind but from what we're seeing um left from this trading week is that there's momentum going in but it's not as strong momentum as we saw last week does that mean we're not getting the moas does that mean we're not getting closer to the moas no because it just shows that you know this could just means that we are gonna get the moas at a later date but um, again, like I said, things could change, but we are looking at overall bullish sentiment, so that is very good. Now, what do we? What else do we want to watch for next week? Firstly, you know, pretty much looking at the short interest rate, looking at the short percentage, because that is important. You know, you can see that AMC is obviously being shorted right now. The price going down, and if you guys are going stock on tracker, you guys can see how the shares of Edward Borrow keep on going from one million to a hundred thousand. And that really just shows that it's reflecting on the hedge funds being scared because they're doing this to obviously sell the shares. And, you know, if they weren't scared and they didn't obviously have to do this, but, you know, they are shorting the shares. They are trying to bring the price down. And so out of the three requirements of, you know, green end, you know, we got the green ending. So the green candle, we didn't get it up close above MA. So that's unfortunately not to take that's a cross, but we are getting, you know, a hedge funds showing fear. And so pretty much we're two out of three right now in terms of the requirement for a MOAS to happen because, you know, the more fear there is for these hedge funds, you know, the closer we are to getting those shorts covered and the closer we are to getting that short squeeze happening. And so what is my prediction for next week? Well, next week, I do think that, you know, we are going to see, firstly, people contesting above that 50 MA. That is very important for us. But then we're going to go towards that 48.20 level, 48.30 level, because there was a lot of selling in that level. Um, I don't think that we're going to meet that much selling this time. There's a lot of people right now this week talking about options. So I feel like people from this week will learn their lessons in terms of the fact that options is obviously good if you're just purely making money here. However, if your objective, like, a, like the rest of the apes, is to beat the hedge funds, is to take AMC to the moon by you actually buying options, Again, I'm not a financial advisor, so do take my opinions with a grain of salt, but by you buying options, you know, you are in a way helping out the hedge funds because you're letting them collect in premiums and then they can also cover their shares at a lower price. And so, like I said, in a way you're helping them. The best way to obviously let AMC pop, to let AMC um, short squeeze is by buying and holding shares because then... Um, what you're doing is that you're getting rid of the shares for them to borrow. Also, make sure you're making that settings where you're not let, you're disabling the fact that um, your shares can be loaned to other people. That is very important because if you do that, then hedge funds can't use your shares to short it against you guys. But you know, don't take uh, do take my opinions for granted. So don't just not trade the options because I say so. But like I said, if your objective at the end of the day is to beat the hedge funds, then what is important is for you to not buy options. Like I said, it is helping the hedge funds. And that is an important thing to be watching out for. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about EMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Other than that, enjoy your day.